Hi guys, Random Majin here. So, um, a lot lately I've been getting some requests and some questions on how to port models from a game called Fantasy Star Online 2. And, um, yeah, instructions on its own could be kind of confusing, so I kind of decided to make a video of how to make it. So first off, of course, you're going to want to download a few different things. Um, so what you're going to want is first, of course, de-icer, which will take the models from, or not the models, I'm sorry, the files from the game. And then from there, you kind of want to get some kind of roadmap to know what files have what. So I would suggest downloading the PS2 file directory which all of this I will be posting in the description below. Anyway, let's get on with this. So I'm going to go over to... And it kind of helps to have these all in a single folder so it's like you know what you're looking for. So what you want to do first is you want to download deicer and when you open it up, Give it a minute. This computer's kind of slow. It will look like this. So, once that is open, what you want to do is you want to go to the place that you that you installed PSO2 to, um, which is usually going to be in Program Files x86. Might be somewhere else in case you uh, put it somewhere else. Then you're going to go Fantasy Star Online 2, PSO2 bin, then Data then win32 and here's all these files now this is going to be really confusing which is why I suggested that you download the PSO2 directory file which I will open right now if I can find it there it is yeah and it is in the Excel format so yeah, you get this message here. I don't really don't worry really worry about it. Down here or wherever it may be, you want to look for the different categories of what you're trying to get. Like uh let's say I want to get a weapon. Uh what weapon do I want? Let's say uh let's go with something I didn't do yet. We'll say we go with, uh, Alvarod. So, here's the name. And then you want look into the ice here. 628DB3, yada, yada, yada. You right-click on that. Click on copy. I don't know why this thing is in a different language, but it just is. And you go Control-V in the search. It will take a minute because there are so many files. And then you see here, it found exactly what I was looking for. From here, it would be so much, it's going to be so much easier if you just copy the file, go back to documents, and then you go back to the folder that you are working in. Uh, this will give me, give me a second. I put it in the same folder as the deicer. So when that is done, open deicer. Now you can do this one of two ways. If you want to do more than one file, you click multi and then you list directory. Do not and I and I cannot stress enough, do not do this with the fol folder that the, all the files are in. Because A, it's going to take a long time and B, it won't do all of them because some of them will actually crash the de-icer. So for right now, I'm just going to do a single ice file, which is these three dots here. And then I'm going to open the 628db yada yada yada. So once you open that and you read all of this text here, you'll notice over here that it has made a new folder that was that is the same name as the file. So we're going to open that. And you got four folders in here. 
What you're going to be wanting to look for is group 2 extracted files. And all of this here is, as you can see, this here is the AQO file, which is the model file. And then you have all these pictures here, which are the texture files. Okay, so the thing is that, as far as I know, there is no add-on for any 3D program that will open the AQO file. So, this is where it kind of might get a little tricky, depending on what you're doing. So, I'm going to go back to Gary's Mod stuff over here. I'm going to go down to Tools. Then I'm sorry, I keep forgetting that your thing might be different. But anyway... Let's see, got AQP to object. Sometimes this will work, sometimes it will not. And that did not work because it has a .org at the end, so you want to delete that file. Okay, sorry. Sometimes if you're, sometimes it will do this, sometimes it will just be all bloggy blurg. And so you want to download Niffl New and right here it will say object and it will have uh, Japanese kanji I believe that is. So what you do is you take the file, you drag it to the OEB, OBG, OB, oh, yeah, sorry, OBJ kanji and then you'll get this command prompt over here you press the any button so if we look over here we'll see that it has made a new file in this folder here which is it's oh it will make an object or obj file We'll drive that back over to here. And then that's pretty much about it. Um, from here, you can... <coughs> oh, sorry. My nose is all stuffy. <laughs> from here, you can use any 3D program that you like, as long as it lets you edit or... As long as it lets you edit, import, and export files from an OBJ file, which in this case I will be using 3ds Max 2010. Give it a second. And like I said, uh, you can use any 3D modeling program. I just tend to prefer 3ds Max because it is something that I learned to use. Okay, so that's open there. Closed. Sorry, my computer's being slow. So, I'll go to import. Mm. Pardon me. And I will go to the file folder where the files are now imported or exported, whatever. I'll open the OBJ file. Yeah, you get that a lot. Because, and there you go. It is now imported into 3DS Max. It will be very tiny though, so you might want to expand it. It will be all gray because the texture files are not on there. So what I'll do is I will take the texture files and I'll start dragging it onto certain pieces of the thing and yes it does look funny but that's because the uh, the UVW is out of whack so what you want to do is the UVW file is upside down so what you'll do is you'll flip it vertically and you gotta do this for every piece if it has more than one piece which is kind of a pain in the ass I know but it's like 
you know. Freak the uh, editors of your favorite games had to put up with a lot worse. And there you have it. It is the PSO2. It is one of the magic weapons, the rod, one of the rods. Stupid mouse. Hold on. It is one of the rods from the PSO2 game. So from here on out, you can do whatever you want with it. And I hope this video was informative. If so, give a like, you know, as in thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And I will see you all in the next video I do. Later, all.